When you're dealing with large text files, it's a good idea to wrap your file readers and file writers inside classes that will buffer the operations. Buffering the read and write operations is a good way of automatically managing memory so that you're efficiently putting content into memory and taking it out. It's a pretty simple operation. You can use the buffered reader and buffered writer classes wrapped around any instance of a reader or writer, such as file reader and file writer. I'll demonstrate this in the class Buffered Streams. In the main application, I'm currently using instances of the file reader and file writer. But this time, I'm going to be reading and writing a much larger file. Instead of a simple text file with just a paragraph of text, I'm going to read the entire content of the play Hamlet in XML. This file that I'll be reading has been provided as a public domain service. And again, it's the entire content of a very long play. You can do the same sort of demonstration with any long text file. Going back to main.java, I'm going to wrap the file reader and file writer instantiations inside classes called buffered reader and buffered writer. I'll start with the reader. I'll remove the class that's being used to declare the variable, and I'll change it from file reader to buffered reader. I'll make sure to include an import statement for this new class. And I'll expand my editor so I can see all of the code. It's going to get a little wide. And then I'll instantiate the buffered reader class before I instantiate the file reader. And I'll wrap the buffered reader constructor around the file reader constructor. So now I'm creating the file reader, but I'm wrapping it inside the buffered reader. And when I call methods like read and write, I'll be calling them from the buffered class instead of the raw class. Now I'll do the same thing with the file writer. I'll once again change the name of the class that I'm using for the outer instantiation, and I'll use buffered writer. I'll add the import statement, and I'll wrap the constructor inside the outer class. This time I'm going to add a little bit of system output to give myself a notification that the reading and writing is complete. I'll save my changes. I'll go back to the Package Explorer and confirm that I only have the one file. Then I'll run the application. I see my message indicating that the operation is complete. I'll refresh the Package Explorer, and there's my new file. So it takes a very small amount of additional code to use a buffered reader and a buffered writer instead of the lower level file reader and file writer. You still get the advantages of internationalization with the file reader and file writer. That is, they'll adapt automatically to different character sets. But now with the buffered classes, you get improved memory management and a more efficient use of system resources.